Hello, I'm Rachel. This is Into the Veil. You've probably seen me on Arkansas Bigfoot. Um, my husband and I, Ken, have been exploring this woods for a number of months now, and I thought that in some of the things that we've talked about pertaining to the paranormal and energy, um, that we would start here and explore the cryptid aspect of the paranormal and some of the gates, doors, dimensions, things that we believe exist here in this woods. Um, I've worked for years as an intuit. Um, I've done work with various police departments in locating missing bodies. Um, you know, we've explored haunted houses, some of them more active than haunted, but energy is energy. It has always existed. It never ceases to exist. Um, so, you know, my thought is that we can explore all of this together and see exactly what lives in the world that we live in that we don't see on an everyday basis, the things that we don't think about on an everyday basis. Um, and hopefully gain a little understanding. I'm glad to have you along with us, and I hope that we will find something fun today. We're going to be working with some rods. Um, that's part of what we've done in our Bigfoot research, and I thought we would explore what they do, what they can discern um, with a little more detail, and let's just see what happens. Would you like to explain the spot that we're standing at? Well, this is where we saw um, an apparition not once but twice a week apart and we got lucky on the second round to get a photo of it. We're still discerning whether it's one of the Sasquatch whether it's something angelic, whether it could be someone that's deceased, it's old ground. So we'll explore that a little more. Um, where we saw it was just about almost to the berry bushes that are in front of us over here. Um, in walking back with the rods, if I ask if there's a portal back here, they're pointing to that same area. So I'm wondering if it isn't energetically more of a gate or a door for things to come in and out. <clears throat> we walk back this way. The rods are consistently pointing in front of me. You know, and one of the questions that comes up about the rods and about energy is often, where's the information coming from? Well, you know, for me, I feel like I've got a great spirit team that I work with as far as my guides, as far as angels, as far as information. I use it a lot when I'm channeling. So I trust that I'm tapped into a higher source of information. I don't believe that consciousness is something that's withheld from anybody. If they truly want to know um, anything, the information is out there in the ether, and it's just a matter of tuning into it like an antenna. Uh, let's see what they do when we get up a little further. swampy back here. So when I get up right here, I'm no 
noticing that they're behaving differently and they're crossing which would tell me that this particular area is that gate or door portal whatever you want to call it and and really it's not as complicated as people might want to make it we have ley lines in the earth energy spots call them hot spots uh, there's a number of names and things that we can use but for me and if I look this is well trafficked so it may be someplace the the creatures that we're people that we're working with out here I was corrected sorry use to come in and out of this place um, well, this is a backstory. We came onto this location because we were on the trail that direction, following vocals that we were hearing through the woods of the Sasquatch. Right. And that's how we stumbled onto here. I originally saw the apparition the first time. And it, by the time we got to it, had flat disappeared. It was an upper body. What I saw was something of a white shirt or upper half. I don't know. I couldn't get quite close enough to it before it disappeared to see if it was clothing or just, you know, a color I was seeing. But it seemed to have form and it seemed to look like a shirt to me in my mind when I saw it. Um, with kind of reddish brown hair. Um, and Ken saw something very similar by the time we got to these berry bushes though it was nowhere to be found and it threw us for a loop the next week we were out here and just in a flash caught white back here he turned the camera and we actually got an image so at least we were <laughs> able to know that we hadn't imagined what we were seeing um, and this back part of the woods is very spooky it has a totally different energy than the part we normally frequent and we don't go back here extremely often and it's not really a fear thing but it just feels more off limits um, i'm sure we'll be exploring that more as we go along um, with the energy work we get a lot of activity from back here by sound um, Let's get out of the swamp. So, deciding if we should venture forth to see what else might pop up. There's a lot of foot traffic through here on the either side of the spot that the, the rods um, denoted, which I find fascinating. And we don't know that that's all Sasquatch. Um, there's a lot of things that we pick up in images out here way beyond um, Bigfoot. This area was settled even as far back as the 1600s. Um, the Quapaw Indians were prevalent down here. Um, and I believe that some of the Chickasaw were also in this area. Um, we've found the, you know, the trees that were traditional trail markers. We have found a voice on various recordings. One of them, we still haven't decided whether it was Sasquatch or an EVP, but in that it said Chiaho, and it was distinctly Native American. So it's going to be fun.
Look at this. It's crazy. It's like this huge fog the curtain. Look. Yeah. We don't see this in front of us, but look at the veil. I see it. playing digifage but his face is shown one of the points that you might want to bring up and it's something that we haven't been able to physically find or validate out here but in reference to a lot of the old history of this location somewhere back here is supposed to be a small cemetery but we have not physically found markers or indications of where it's at yet. Nothing yet, so we'll explore that as well. Um, there's so many different directions that can be taken in just the word paranormal. Paranormal is, is anything that cannot be rationally explained. Um, you know, the majority of people are believers in either ghosts, maybe cryptids, um, you know, energy healing is something that is prevalent right now because we're learning that we're not limited. We're not limited to time and space. Those things don't exist except in the 3D per se as far as the quantum field goes. And opening that part of our minds up into understanding or at least being willing to explore it I think opens up other doors um, that would give us more proof I'm not any different than anybody else except that at some point when I was young I just simply accepted it for what it was I thought everybody was the same and I never shut that switch off um, but I believe that within ourselves, everyone has the ability to tune in to that unseen world. Okay, let's see. So I'm asking, <laughs> I was asking if there was another portal back here and the rods both went directly behind me. So let's see what they do. So we have more than one. There's one in front of me. And one over this way. Let's go up here. And usually I just let the rods do the work. I don't really, other than putting the question out there, I don't think that hard about it. side for me is more of a seeker. Um, everyone has to develop their own, I guess you'd say, relationship. In working with the elements, these are metal, they're copper rods. Um, I happen to work really well with copper. And I would say there's something going on here for sure. Uh, 
I'm sorry every time we're out here my eyes are set on keep <coughs> excuse me keep a watch mode for things moving in my peripheral and we've got definite activity in this spot um, another tool I don't use as often this also is copper has a quartz point amethyst on this end uh, it's a traditional pendulum I dug it out uh, to show you that they work much the same a little more pocket size um, there are dousing rods that are pocket size for me I like the full size but it's just a matter of personal preference but if you were to ask show me yes and I promise you I'm not moving thank you please stop show me no and there's a lot of energy right here it's picking up momentum there's really not a particular reason that I don't pendle often um, it's great for map work it's great for oh, targeting more specific spots but it also resonates the same way as the rods um, thank you please stop if I were to ask is this a portal a door it's giving me a distinct yes now if I step back as we go um, the more swing that you get the more active the energy is um, and like I said, these things are, everybody has a different way that they work with them. There's not a right, there's not a wrong. You do always want to protect yourself and the space around you to make sure that the feedback that you're getting is as positive and as light as you can possibly receive. Um, because truth be told, energies, there's energies out there for example, we've met some that were more ghost-like, that um, even some that could be considered malevolent, um, that also are very aware of how to use energy. So you want to have a parameter, you want to have definition as to what you'll accept. interesting because normally we'll find trees that have more of a framework at the base of them the framework ironically is up here this is where it's the flattest so I believe energetically speaking it would be easier for say Sasquatch any other cryptids elementals uh, whatever we're working with out here to use this particular spot versus the tree itself. That's pretty cool. Okay. So this could go on essentially all day for days in this particular set of woods because 
there are a number of places that are energetically correct for gates, doors, maybe into other dimensions, maybe from one tree to another. I'll see if I can't think of a way that we can test if it's just from one tree to another, if maybe we can test whether it's a dimensional doorway. Um, there's a lot of different angles that we can go with this and any ideas or questions that you have I am absolutely willing to at least look into. Um, that's pretty much pretty much the excitement. Walking back in here, we heard a few limbs get tossed, and I think Rachel heard one grunt or uh, something Just like that. Grunt. Anymore, it almost feels like a greeting. I get tone deaf a lot of times, and if I'm walking, just the sound of my own footsteps will drown out a lot of things to my ears. It's only when I you know, stop moving and stand still that I can pick up a lot of things. I just saw a flash, a flash of something, right? I don't know. Straight in front of me, but I can't tell if it's left of your camera. Junior, are you back there? Come on, buddy. Come up here and make a little noise for these guys tonight. little green light on my hat it doesn't seem to bother him too much so I'm going to turn it on Crossing here, and when I look, 
we have some framework with the limbs, but we also have a ton of traffic. I mean, little feet, big feet. It's hard telling what all uses is. We have elementals. Yes. So this particular spot, oh, got the chills. Just standing here gives me the chills. They don't all do that. But this might be a more dimensional type. And there's saying yes. Um, what I feel is this particular spot is good for anything that needs to use it. So, you know, if there's cryptids like dogmen or anything that would be a little less <laughs> desired, it could use this type of spot as well as, say, Sasquatch or Elementals. We've got um, orbs that we've caught on video and we'll explore that some more. Um, I believe some areas are more conducive to that type of travel. We've also, you know, seen canine type images out here. I don't know that they're all the most negative connotation of a dog man. Um, but I do believe there are certain ley lines or certain energy lines that those types of energies have to travel, that they're more restricted than, say, Sasquatch or people or, you know, other energies. Um, what else? Let's see. So I hope this was interesting for you. Um, if you'd like to see more, and we've got plenty more, I'll be glad to bring you more of the rods, more of the pendle. Um, we'll be discussing the orbs, the other cryptids. We've got images of, you know, the more elemental energies that are out here. We have images of people. So there's a long, a long list that we can go through. And I look forward to having you again. Please comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what your questions are. And again, I will do everything in my power to approach those. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.